This video shows two ways to split US Household 220 volt into two powerful 110 volt circuits. First I'll show the proper way, then the field expedient method that I actually used. First, fasten a terminal block inside a junction box. The terminal block is plastic designed to secure and insulate wire terminals. If you have ever purchased a new electrical appliance, you will know that they do not include power cords. This is because 220 volt outlet configurations vary. Determine which outlet you have, get a matching cord. Secure the supply and neutral terminals to the terminal block and ground the junction box. A clamp on the cable that is too large to go through the portal prevents strain on the cable from damaging the terminal connections. In the USA, household 220 volt wiring consists of two 110 volt supply wires, red and black, a neutral wire white, and a ground wire green. In many wiring systems, the ground wire is also eliminated and the chassis is grounded to neutral. Because AC voltage occurs as a polar oscillating wave, and because the two supplies are 180 degrees out of phase, the maximum electrical potential between them is the full wave magnitude from peak to trough, or the nominal 220 volts AC. A link to Wikipedia explaining this is posted on my website. Let's presume the harness is energized by connecting a 220 volt outlet and test the voltage between the two supply wires. Because the neutral wire is grounded and does not supply voltage of either pole, the maximum electrical potential between one supply wire and the neutral wire is the difference in the wave peak from zero volts, or one half the full wave magnitude. With 110 volt conductors or wires rated to match your breaker amperage and power disconnected, connect the 110 volt harness to the appropriate points on the 220 volt terminal block for the red circuit black to red, white to white, and ground to junction box chassis or neutral. To calculate amperage, divide watts by volts. Your breaker should have two numbers on it, each representing the maximum amperage for each supply. For a 3030 breaker, each supply can power 3000 watts at 110 volts or 6000 watts together at 220 volts. Make the connections for the black circuit, fasten the lid, and you're ready to power up. This is a good safe way to split 220 volt into 110 volt but has a couple of problems. One, it monopolizes components and two, it's awkward to use. Coming soon I will show how I actually connected my 110 volt appliances to my 220 volt outlet. For a preview visit my website. The address is given in the description below.